A lot of people have asked me if I could do a video explaining how to upgrade the speakers to mega bass ones in the Batman Class 20. So whilst I'm doing this one I'm going to just show you how I'm doing it and uh, hopefully it helps a few people who aren't sure whether they've got the skills to take on the job or not. It is quite an easy one and uh, if you can solder at all you should be able to do this one. Uh, but I'll show you how to do everything anyway and hopefully it makes a bit more sense. So this is a model that I've previously fitted with a double iPhone speaker, which sounds good, um, and it was the best that I could find at the time when I tried a lot of different speakers, but these 20x20 20 20 megabase, which I've just got in recently, um, they do sound better, and uh, they do offer an improvement, so it's worth upgrading. First thing you're going to need to do, you've probably, if you've not upgraded your speaker yet, you're going to have a sugar cube, um, which will be just here on the circuit board. Um, but to access the screws for that, you've got to take the circuit board off. So you've got eight screws, uh, six screws, sorry. I've already taken four of them out just to save a bit of time. And then you'll see underneath that there's two screw holes. So you would usually have two screws in those holding the sugar cube from the top. So once you take those out, the sugar cube lifts off. In this case, I've soldered the iPhone speaker onto the two contacts that are under the circuit board. So I'm going to go away and unsolder those and I'm going to solder the new speakers onto the two speaker terminals on the decoder. And then I'll come back and show you how it all fits in. Um, I'll also show you another way of fitting it in case you've got a factory fitted sound decoder which won't have any speaker terminals on it. So I'll go and do the soldering now and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've connected my speakers up. Um, I've connected them directly to the decoder in this case, and I've already put the screws back in the circuit board. If you don't want to solder your speakers to the decoder, um, or if you can't solder it to the decoder because some types don't have the solder pads on, then you've got solder pads here. Those two big metal areas, you can just solder your reds to one and your blacks to the other one, and that'll have exactly the same result. I've just got a little bit of black tack and I'm going to connect the speaker at this side with black tack so I'm just going to make a little ring of black tack um, and put that under the first one. So that's just there and either speaker can go there. So I'll just push that down firmly so it doesn't move. Then for the other speaker I'm going to use a sticky dot and the reason I use this is just because it's a little bit more um, resistant to heat and certain parts on the circuit board can get hot. So rather than have something that could potentially melt onto the circuit board, I find a, a sticky dot just uh, works a little bit better. So it wants to go as close as you can get it up to the plug that's got the motor wires. So just there. And then you'll find that you've got quite a lot of excess wire. So you want to just tuck that in. There's a, a gap between the circuit board and the motor. And there's nothing there that's sort of a moving part or anything. So it's, it's quite a nice area to tuck the wires. So what I've been doing is just tucking them in the best I can. Um, doesn't have to be perfect obviously as long as they're out of the way and you don't trap them when you're putting the body back on. But if you just push them in with something. And then I've just been getting a little bit of black tack um, which just helps to uh, hold them in place. You don't want loads because if you ever have to take it out or change anything then you don't want to have loads of black tech to have to try and pull off your wires. That's how we can end up breaking wires or whatever. But just a little bit will hold it. And then the same at the other side. Right, so that's the wires out of the way now. So it's just a case of putting the body back on. The reason that the speaker needs to go quite far back towards that plug is because inside the body you've got a fan and uh, that sticks down quite a long way so if you put it too far forwards the speaker and the fan get in the way of each other but as long as you put it further back then you won't have any problems 
So the plugs are quite easy to get back in and then the body just literally slides over the top and then you've just got two screws, one at each side under the coupling. Now that the model's all back together, I'm going to get it onto my track and have a listen to it and I'll put some clips up at the end of this video so you can hear it too and hopefully you like the improvement. If you've got any questions to ask or if you want to leave any comments you can leave them below. Thank you for watching.